Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, uh, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, in today's video, uh, I'm going to start off with taking you down memory lane. Because back in December 2017, I did a train set uh, review. And it was this! Da -da, the Hornby Virgin Trains Pendolino. Now I actually remember doing a review on this, and I re really liked it. I mean, I was a lot more younger, my mind was a lot more... Uh, uh, Creative, that's a good word. Because this was the first time, and actually this is the only time I actually owned a uh, Class 390 in a train set. Ah, oh, those were the days. That was when my channel was just getting started. But I have some bad news. This is an empty box. Nothing inside it. And the only thing that remains from that train set are these. Now in the starter set, it came with two coaches and two unit thing. I don't, what do you call them? Like, you know, the actual loco, like, electrical multiple unit thingy. Something like that, isn't it? I need to look up the proper word for these. So what happened was, is I put my consist on display on a shelf, but the shelf wasn't level properly, and the whole train just slowly rolled. And, you know, I thought it looked cool on display at first. Fortunately, the coaches landed on something soft, so they weren't really damaged. Unfortunately, the actual um, electrical multiple unit, the actual Pendolino train, uh, landed on something hard, which was my floor. Bear in mind I was only 18 back then, and you know, you know, I didn't really know how to look after Hornby stuff, but unfortunately, yes, it got broken. But the Class 90 is one of my most favourite electrical trains uh, in the world, and I thought... I think I might need a new one for my railway. So I'm in need of a brand new Hornby Class 390. And I found one. So instead of going out and buying a train set, I thought I'd buy something a bit more cooler. A train pack. And it's this! It is another Virgin Hornby Trains Pendolino. But this time, uh, it doesn't have any of the Pendolino, like, you know, black markings around it. It's just the... Ordinary Virgin Train, which I really, I, I do prefer it in this livery, it looks better, it looks more smarter in this livery, I think. Because unlike this one, you've got like these like, Pendolino like markings on it, and I wasn't a big fan of the, uh, the markings to be honest, I, I liked it when it was a bit more plain and looked more simple. But this is a lot better because it's digital, oh -hoo -hoo, which means both uh, multiple units have a DCC chip in them. So uh, if I was going forwards, the lights will light up in white. If I was going backwards, the lights will light up in red and they switch. So that is very clever. So I'm really glad that I bought a digital one. Good thinking, Oliver. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this, show you guys in close up of what it looks like, and just see how well it runs, I suppose. Really, really nervous, because like, you know, I always get nervous when I'm running secondhand stuff, because I, I did buy this secondhand. But if I'm running stuff that's brand new, I still get nervous, because I don't want to like take it out of the box, because it's like fresh out of the box. But I'm a bit nervous for secondhand stuff, because we, we don't know if it might actually work. But let's find out. Ooh. Okay, so this isn't my best camera work, but like, you know, I'm doing the best I can since I'm doing this all by myself. So here it is in its box, obviously. Uh, I'll show you guys close up. It's DCC fitted, so that's fantastic, because since I'm like, you know, this, this uh, well, my model railway is digital after all. So let's get this uh, out of it. The box is slightly beat up on the sides, where I have to admit, but bear in mind, I did buy this, like, you know, secondhand. There's a bit of uh, tear there which I'm a bit disappointed because like you know I, I do like the boxes the boxes do look pretty and I want to keep the boxes as in great condition as I possibly can so um I'm gonna open it from this one actually oh it's been a long time since I've had a uh, class 90 once again it's been like whew, over like what four years five years I don't know I'm not very good at maths but anyway let's slide it out oh a bit squeaky okay oh Wow, I mean, for me, it's upside down, but for you guys, it's the right way up. So it's a bit weird for me to actually like, see what it really looks like. So let's pop this box very carefully to one side. So the box is quite badly damaged. And I, need, I, need to, I need to look after it very well, and that is what I shall do. But here we go. Now, as I said, this was second hand, but I think the previous owner of this has actually looked after it very, very well. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's almost like new, actually, to be honest. Um, but again, um, I think the, the previous owner like knew how to look after uh, model engines or model trains. 
But I'm gonna very. St I'm gonna start with the actual um, loco with the motor inside, which is th the one at the top, and it's very hard to actually. It's very stiff. Is there like a hole I can poke at the back? There we go. We're gonna be very, very careful here. I don't want to damage it. Because the thing is, with these old Hornby boxes, like it's, like it's very like you can accidentally damage them as getting them out of the box. That's why I don't like this this material. This, this material is absolutely horrible. But anyway, uh, ooh, wow, look at this. I'll show you guys in a close. I'll have to move the lens manually so I get you guys a nice close up of the of the engine. Um, if, it, if it would even focus. But there you go. No, that is it's focused. That's focused. But look at that, I think it's upside down for you guys. And actually, no, it's the right way up. <laughs> it's upside down for me, I get confused. But there she is. Uh, she looks very nice, doesn't she? Now, for 150-ish pounds, bear in mind it is digital, uh, I think it's good. I mean, I mean, I, I would, um, I mean, normally, uh, I would spend like over 200 pounds on like on a, on a Hornby Thomas engine. But for 150 pounds for, a train like this, I think it's quite good. Bear in mind, it's got light functions in inside, and it's all digital as well, so I don't have to buy the chip. That's fantastic. But look at the detail in the in the, in the logo, and I just I, the thing is, like, I know like these class three nineties are now in the Avanti West Coast livery, but the thing is, I do prefer them in this livery. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Avanti West Coast livery is nice, but like you know, these trains just look absolutely stunning when they are in the Virgin livery. I just, I, I just think it just looks better in the old school red and the silver. It just, it just looks so nice, and the window looks, looks amazing. You can actually see in the in the reflection of the uh, of the light, you can actually see the windows quite well there. And they actually, they, they actually, they look like bright. I've not seen any scratch marks or anything. These these things, this this actually looks like it's like. Like almost new, actually. This is this was very well looked after, so that is fantastic. It's got got got, got a bit good weight to it, so that's good. So I'll put that to one side. And the next thing is the Pentagraph coach. Now, obviously, this is the coach where it gathers electricity from the overhead wires, and it's got a Pentagraph that can uh, be raised. But I'll do that like, like later on in the video. Um, but obviously, this coach is exactly the same as the old coach, but obviously like this is the uh, coach where I got the train set back in 2017. And you can, you can tell like it's got this like black square, well sort of like, well not square, but like rectangle like pattern on it. And it, oh, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of that, but it, it does look nice, but you can't like, you know, they, they are like really nice to look at these trains. I, I, I love, I love these coaches so much. They, they feel, they look, they, it looks like a high speed train, isn't it? Um, and it's very cold to the touch as well. I mean, again, this isn't my best camera work, but you know, uh, I think I'm doing okay so far. But I do like these uh, trains. The, these are like my favorite electric trains uh, in the world. So I'm gonna pop that to one side and get the rest out. Okay, so these ones are the ones that are quite well looked after because it's still got like the tissue inside the box. So that's, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, so I think this is, um, oh, it's got a nameplate on it. So I'm trying to zoom in and see if this one's got a nameplate. What does it say? Uh, I don't know if it will focus it. Focus, are you going to focus? No, oh God, no. It's definitely not going to focus. Um, let me, actually, let's see what it says. Virgin Star, okay. Uh, that's what it says on there, if, if, if it will ever focus. It says Virgin Star. Is that, it's, it's cool that this coach has got a nameplate on it. Bear with me. This, this is a bit of a faff, isn't it? Um, ah, ah, oh my God, oh my God, there we go. Okay, so this one is just the dummy car, but it, obviously this one still does have a light function and it still has a digital chip inside. Uh, but this is just the dummy car, but that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys the, these engines in close up and see what they look like. And then we can see them what they look like when they're running. Because uh, I have uh, spent a long time on my model railway project of building scenery and stuff. So I think it'll look good like like in the countryside, in the grass and the trees in the back. I think it's going to look really nice when this is running. Oh, I can't wait. So let's see what these guys look like in close up, shall we? Okay, so now we're going to have a quick close up of the detailing on these models. Um, I'm not for I'm not for one really to you know point out all the details and what looks good or what doesn't. Um, but I just think the uh, the paintwork looks amazing. I mean I do like the red and silver and I do like the grey and white stripy doors on the side and I just love the Virgin logo on the side. It just it just looks so good. Uh, the headlights have got some uh, fantastic detail. Now the one thing I'm not too sure about is the plain plastic shiny window on the front. It's just it's just a 
bit of plastic. It'd be nice to have a like an actual like see through glass so we can actually see inside the cab and like have a bit of cab detail and stuff. But um, I guess with all the uh, the you know the wiring for the lights and stuff, I, I don't think there'll be enough room to fit a cab inside. So I guess I'm gonna have to. I guess I can live with that, I suppose. But I just wish it would be nice if we had some like you know cab detail inside these uh, high speed trains. But if I'm willing to sacrifice cab detail for lighting, uh, I think I would prefer having. Uh, lights on these trains rather than cab detail, I suppose, because like you know, because I'm autistic, I'm I'm, I'm very fascinated with things that do light up. <laughs> That's just the way I am. But now I think it's time to put this on the tracks and see how well it runs. Ooh, it's very exciting. Okay, so there she is on the tracks, and it's time for the big test. Uh, if this will run or even if the lights work, I don't know. This this is the bit where I get really nervous at. But anyway, uh, so what I've done is I've actually added uh, two extra coaches uh, here and here uh, from the old Pendolino that I used to have to make the train look more, well, bigger. Uh, it looks good. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below of what you guys think. Uh, this just looks so cool. I'm so excited. Anyway, first things first is we need to do a special light test to see if this thing actually does have a light function. So uh, I've programmed it to be engine 12. Don't know why. Don't ask me. Um, okay, so we're going to go function zero. So we press zero and then function and see if the lights work. Aha! It works, but uh, does it work on the other side? I need to actually check. Hold on. Let's squeeze past the camera. <laughs> so we have working lights from the front and the back, or back and front. Um, anyway, but let's put it in reverse quickly and see if the lights will change from white to red. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, that that's good. But now, if we put it in forward... Does it actually move? So we get a bit of power. Oh my goodness.
Okay, my friends, I ran the uh, Class 390 Pendolino uh, for about 45 minutes, and there seems to be nothing wrong with it. The like Mechanically, it works fine, the motor's fine, it runs f smooth, the lights look fantastic. I don't think anything's wrong with this particular model. It's just amazing to finally have a Class 390 back in my possession. Like, I have missed owning a Class 390, and this one... I think I'm going to look after it very well, unlike last time, but no, th this is a really good model, and I'm very glad I actually added uh, two extra coaches, because it makes the train look a lot better. I might buy some more coaches uh, for this, because I would like to have like maybe like a 9-car consist, or maybe a 12-car consist, but... I think, at the moment, I am happy of what I've got. I, I, I'm just... It's just so nice to have... A 390 again and when it goes around this area like when it goes around this nice big corner it kind of looks like the countryside of crew doesn't it it just it just looks amazing i'm really pleased of how well because this is the first time i'm running i'm running a train on this new section of my model railway project and it looks so nice just go around the corner and it's like it's just you see the hills and the trees in the background and Oh, it just, it just looks amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very pleased with this. This, 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 this is good, and I'm very pleased with you as well. Oh, I am so glad I have a class 390 again. Um, and the thing is, I prefer it in this livery. I don't know what you guys think. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the Avanti West Coast livery on a class 390. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks smart and modern. But I do love the way the Virgin livery looks on a class 390. It, it just works. Well, that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel, and also please subscribe to my second YouTube channel. L link to that is in the description below. Have a great day, my friends, and I'll see you guys again next time in another model railway engine train thingy review. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.